Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This time, I bring you what I consider the best plugin for Adobe Photoshop, and we will use it to create this incredible effect. Today's plugin is called Optics Effects, which can be used in conjunction with Photoshop or individually. With it you can apply incredible effects and filters with a totally professional result, as well as it also offers you various editing tools such as masks and layer levels. You can download this incredible complement with a link that I will leave you in the description. I will also leave you a coupon code so that you can get a 25% discount on Optics FX. Now we are going to create an effect with this plugin. Once installed, we just have to go to the filters, and select where it says Boris Effects, and then click on Optics and the program will open. When we open the program we find a very friendly interface, where at the bottom, we will find the various filters and effects that we can apply to our image. On the left we will find the Layers window similar to Photoshop, where we can create more layers and apply blending modes. We can also access tools such as color wheels to modify the colors of the project, thus having total creative freedom in our work. To start with the effect we are going to apply the color correction filter, and we will adjust the filter values to give a colder and darker tone to the image. Now we create a new layer, and search the Glow Darks filter to darken the background a little more. Now we are going to apply a clipping mask as seen on the screen, with the Easy Mask tool. This will allow us to draw the figure that we want to select with the green brush, in an easy and simple way. Then with the other red brush, we draw outside the area we want to select. Now we just have to click on Generate Mask as seen in the video, and we can see the mask by clicking on Show Mask as shown on the screen. Here we can see the result of our selection. Then we invert the clipping mask so that the effect is applied to the background. Now we create a new layer, and applying the Night Ski filter to create a sky with stars. We drag the clipping mask to the new layer to duplicate it and modify the filter values as we see in the video. Now we are going to create a gradient clipping mask so that the filter only applies to the sky as seen on screen. Then we create another layer and search the moon effect. We modify the values and the position of the moon, and drag the clipping mask so that the moon appears to be behind the model. Now we create another layer and search the laser beam filter to apply it on the sword as seen in the video.
then we will apply a clipping mask with the path tool. We create two sections where the filter will affect the image less. At the top we modify the hardness of the selection to give a more blurred effect. Then we invert the mask and give some touches to the effect. Now we create another layer, and apply the effect of electricity with the sap filter. Here we modified the effect values as seen in the video. Then we apply a clipping mask with the path tool so that the rays are better integrated into the sword. Now we create a new layer and apply a vignette filter. Then we create another layer and apply a lens flare effect as seen in the video. Perfect, we have finished this effect. Remember that in the description of the video, you can find the link to download this add-on with a 25% discount using the code of this channel. For more information about the complement, you can visit the YouTube channel of its creators to learn how to use it better. Well, this program gives you a number of possibilities and facilitates the creation of various special effects. Thank you very much for watching this video.